Welcome to a video where we're going to be showing that there's only one root in a given interval. Here we have a function x equals e to the minus x minus x plus 1. You might notice this function from a previous video. If so, treat it as a continuation of the video. Okay, now I'm sure you could go on Wolfram and you could plot the graph or you could type in the data values and find out what the graph does. And essentially we're going to be showing that by inputting numbers. Now the given interval is between 0 and 2. So the first step is to put in the 0 and see what we get given out. We have f of 0 equal to, now we're going to put it in here, e to the 0 minus 0 plus 1 equals 2. Now of course we have that 2 is positive and 2 is greater than 0. I should like to point out that the zero here has nothing to do with the zero putting in. The zero is showing that it's going to have to cross the x, bound, x, x axis at some point. Now we put in 2. So we have f of 2 equals e to the minus 2 minus 2 plus 1. If you use your calculator, that will give you minus 0.8647 to four decimal places. Now, of course, we have minus 0.8647 to be less than zero. What does this tell us? Well, it tells us that over the interval, we start off at a positive and we end up at a negative. So it's going to be crossing the x-axis at some point. So if we draw a rough sketch of what I mean, okay, so when we put naught in, we get 2. And when we put 2 in, which we'll call 2 along here, we get minus 0 0.8. So what does this mean? Well, it means the function is at some point, given it's a continuous function, which is what well, we're going to assume it's continuous. At some point, it's going to have to have to cross over the x-axis. Even if we wait till here, it's going to have to slip on down there. So we'll have a root. However, the question is to show that there's only one root. There's strictly one root. This only shows that there is a root. There could be multiple roots. For example. It could be, apologize for my pen not working, it could be a kind of trigonometric function that crosses many times. And we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have lots of roots. So we need to show there's only one root. And how do we do that? Well, we need to show that the gradient is negative throughout the interval. To do this, we simply differentiate the function f of x. Now, we need to show that this is negative over the interval between 0 and 2. Now if we just consider it at naught, it's negative. If we consider it at 1, it's also negative. And if we consider it at 2, negative as well. So we have that it's negative throughout the uh, given interval, which means there can only be one root.
by what's known as Rolay's theorem. Thank you for watching. I hope there were some points in this video that were able to help you. Uh, please feel free to click like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.